Hi, hello everyone. So, previous video la number what is in by GitHub Actions and how we can print a hello world using the Git Actions subdivision. Soli paathirpo. So, this is the continuation of the previous video. So, in the video la number na paaku par subdivision soli paathinga. How to run a Python hello world using Git Actions? Okay. So, first na maina pana paro na Git pull pana paro. This is because we have made uh, direct changes in our GitHub repository. So, we have to pull the terminal so that we can terminal and click on the new terminal. So, now we have to click on the git pull. So, in the git pull command, we have to use the so remote repository directly. So, we have to use the remote repository so that the changes will not come to our local repository. So, local repository in the sense, we have to use actions folder. Okay, so, to make that changes applicable to our local repository, we need to give this command git pull. So, just so, if you want to get a git pull, you can create a folder that we created. So, this is the use of this git pull command. So, we can create another file here. So, first file can name change, like 0, 1, and so on. So, name change, you need to click that file and you need to press the function F2. So, 01.hello.oml, and so on, and so on, and so on. So, again, GitHub folder la click on it. We need to create another file. So, 02.python hello abdeen soli na mention panikra. So, if you see here, we have two files in the GitHub directory la da create adikha. This is not created into the workflows directory. So, if you want to correct it abdeen soli paathina, just in the file la undu click pani, we need to drag into the workflows directory. So, if you want to move this file into workflows abdeen soli paathina, just in the file la undu click pani, we need to drag into the workflows directory. So, just enter. So, again, I close it. Now, you can see, we have two files in the workflows. So, name is what I have to tell you. Run hello world from your py script. Okay, so just enter. So, next part is on keywords. So, on keywords, you can mention what type of trigger you need. There are triggers like push request, pull request. And if you need to schedule a job, then you can schedule a job. And also, if you have different branches, then you can specify a specify branch to run this automated process. So, in the process, if you have a trigger, we have to commit in the local repository. We have to commit in the remote repository. We have to commit in the sense push. So, at that time, we have to perform in the job. So, if you have a trigger, if you want to go to the repository, that is the icon known as actions. So, if you click on the actions, you can run this particular job. So, how do you do it? So, next thing is jobs. So, in jobs, we can specify what are the steps you need to automate. So, first, we can mention the job name. So, we can add a tag. So, job name, you can add a name. So, hello, you can add a name. So, again, we will tap on the tab. We will mention the keyword in the run sun. So, in the run sun, we will mention the VM in the process run. So, we will mention the OS in Ubuntu and also mention the latest. So, in the latest, we will mention the Ubuntu in the latest version. We will run the jobs in the latest version. So, one job can have multiple steps. And one YAML file can have multiple jobs. Okay. So next na steps I have been told to mention panikram. So either naam onda array format le naam kudu kuno. So naala naam hyphen onda mention kuno. So and next pating naam we are giving the data in the key value based. So key value based le naam ano soli pating naam dictionary format le naam kudu kuno. So name naam mention panikram. So name onda clone repo. So using this GitHub actions you can automate, customize and execute your software development workflows right in your repository with github actions so in the actions na inga irundha edukra appdin solli paathina ungaloda github market space ku neenga poi kono so github market space appdin solli na type pandren so you can search what are the things you need so na check out appdin solli indha keyword mattum na pass pandren so paathina check out vandu normally enna nadakku appdin solli paathina oru branch la irundhu innor branch ku nama switch aaradha nama check out use pannuvom and also using this check out we can create a new branch and we can switch over to that particular branch okay so, if you look at the blue color ticker, this is created and verified by GitHub. So, you can directly use that. So, without the tick, that is known as the third party applications. Okay. So, if you look at the key, that is known as users here. You can just copy this. So, if we use the actions, we use the keyword in the users subdivision. So, if you have any doubts, why are we using the actions? Why are we using the actions? And in that actions, why are we using the checkout? So, if you see here, our Python script will be run on the Ubuntu latest, which we mentioned in the runs on keyword. So, in that particular OS, it does not have anything related to our repository. So, that's why we are cloning this. So, that's why we are using the git actions checkout. So, in the previous video, we have made a 
PM here and next step la pathina we are just printing a hello world here so adanal namak endha repository details me theva padadu but inga nam enna pandrom appdin solli pathina or python file la irukka data vada nam print panna porom so that's why we are cloning our repository to the remote ubuntu machine so next step enna pathina second step so in the step la nam enna panna porom theviyana requirements ellame nam download pannu so set up python appdin solli indha name na kuduthukuren so python is required for running a python script next users okay so users la nam enna kudukka porom appdin solli pathina how to uh, download a python or set up python so again nam market space la poi adha nam search pannikalam python appdin solli na mention pandren so just enter so if you see here set up python appdin solli irukku and also there is a verify tick here so just click here so scroll down so you can copy this until the last step and you can paste here format this so ungalku inge enna version venum adha neenga specify panikalam okay ingla sorry indha line namakku ipo theva padadhu nama next step la adha mention panikalam so again in one step nama mention panikalam so name vandha na enna kudukuren appdin solli pathinga anya python script okay so just enter so again or tab kuduthukonga and now we need to mention the run keyword here okay so in the with keyword edukku appdin solli pathinga in the with la we need to mention what type of version you need okay so that is the use of this with keyword and uses is for action specifying one and run keyword edhuk use aagudhu appdin solli pathina to run a particular command here okay so python la or particular file la nam eppadi run pannuvom appdin solli pathina we need to mention python and the file name okay so python so first nam or python file create pannikalam so python file vandu in the folder ku veliye da nam create panna porom okay so you can click here and you can press this uh, first button to create a new file hello dot py okay so just enter so you can mention here like print hello world okay so in the message na kuduthuta so now we can uh, mention the name in our uh, yaml file hello dot py okay so now we can commit our changes so commit pandradhukku you need to press here and in a message ninga enna venam mention panikalam and also unga commit message vandu romba ve meaningful ah irukum ninga enna changes pannirkeengalo adu or short form ah ninga mention pannikalam so inga keela click pannite commit and push so appo da nammaloda remote repository ku indha changes vandu push aagum okay illa so nam remote repository la check pannalam so again page refresh pannunga so again nam page refresh pannum bodu nam anga run hello world python from your python script appdin solli indha job name nam kuduthirukom so click here so ipo pathina namakku edho error adichirukku so enna nam check pannalam inga click pannunga so nammaloda script la da edho mistake aayirukku so enna nam paakalam can't open the file appdin solli mention aayirukku so enna nam paakalam So if you see here, now your file name on the top of our program, so then we correct it. Like, if we have zero dot one hello dot py, I've been solely mentioned it. So, if we have a rename, we can do it. So, function f the zero dot one on the now remove it. So, just enter. So, now we can commit our changes. So, updated hello dot py. Okay. So, just enter. So, now we can commit and push. Okay. So, again back on the top of our page, refresh it. So, again, all of you. So, if you see here. ஃபர்ஸ்ட் நம்மளோட உபுந்து விஎம் வந்து கிரியேட் ஆகும் அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் பாத்தீங்கன்னா க்ளோன் ரெப்போ சோ நம்ம ரெப்போசிட்டரியில இருக்க எல்லா டேட்டாஸும் நம்ம உபுந்து மிஷினுக்கு அப்படியே செக் அவுட் ஆகும் ஓகேங்களா செக் அவுட் இன் த சென்ஸ் க்ளோன் சோ நெக்ஸ்ட் பாத்தீங்கன்னா செட் அப் பைதான் சோ பைதான் இஸ் இன்ஸ்டால் நெக்ஸ்ட் பாத்தீங்கன்னா ரன் எ பி வைஸ் ஸ்கிரிப்ட் சோ இஃப் யூ சீ ஹியர் ரன் பைதான் ஹலோ வேர்ல்ட் அப்படினு சொல்லி மென்ஷன் ஆயிருக்கும் அண்ட் நம்மளோட அவுட் புட் இங்க வந்து டிஸ்ப்ளே ஆயிடுச்சு சோ போஸ்ட் செட் அப் ஓகே ஸோ போஸ்ட் செட்டப்ல என்ன நடக்கும் போஸ்ட் ஜாப் கிளீன் அப் ஓகே அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நம்மளோட ரெப்போசிட்ரி கிளீன் அப் ஆயிடும் அண்ட் நம்மளோட ஜாப் வந்து கம்ப்ளீட் ஆயிடுச்சு ஓகேங்களா ஸோ இஃப் யூ சி ஹியர் தெர் இஸ் அ கிரீன் டிக் ஹியர் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஹவ் லேர்ன் ஹவு டு ரன் யூ பைத்தான் ஸ்கிரிப்ட் யூசிங் த கிட் ஆக்ஷன்ஸ் ஸோ தேங்க்யூ ஃபார் லிசன